Yo, go subscribe, go get informed by Pete and Zeki, you know, bigger brother. And yes, I couldn't wait to get here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what took me so long. You guys didn't invite me, so I have to come myself. <laughs> yes. yes, finally I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, my new album, No Pressure, is out. And um, it's only right that I move out of Ghana to try and go and teach it. From the look of things, I do have some fan base here in Kenya as well. So definitely one of the countries that I chose to visit mm -hmm. for my media tour. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it here. Okay. Hopefully I come back for like a proper Sakura concert. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so just come to touch base with you guys. Just get the vibe, you know, and push the music as well. Okay. Sakura, what should we expect in the album? Um, the album, if you're a hip-hop head, definitely you're gonna love it. Um, I touched on different type of sounds. I did Afrobeat, obviously, because Africa is dominated by Afrobeat. I tried sounds, which is basically, it's not from just one ear, but dominated by mm -hmm. Love music, you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. What about the artists that you So I tried to take um, some from all parts of Africa as well, to check Vic Mensa and they are from the States, and then we have Kicks from the UK, we have a Ghanaian, and then we have Harmonize from uh, yeah, TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, we have Oxley. So mm -hmm. I basically picked some people from different parts of the world, mm -hmm. people that have made music with organically. Yeah. So basically, um, artists like um, Beyonce and uh, Jay-Z uh, coming to Africa and uh, sampling our music. What's your comment about that? I love that. Um, Africa will always have its time, and this is our time. This is the new crew. We we take the pace. Afrobeat is the sound that everybody wants to do the sound too. So I'm um, definitely up for it. I'm African, so I'm proud if Africa is at the forefront. You know, we get inspired by them for the longest, so it's time that we inspire them too. So I like it. Yeah. So you've had uh, quite um, successful albums before, um, highest in psychology. What makes No Pressure bigger than the other albums? Um, I wouldn't say bigger, just, it's, it's an upgrade of myself, mm -hmm. I'm growing, it's different experiences, so definitely it wouldn't sound like any of them. Mm -hmm. I normally don't do my album thinking it's going to be the biggest album, this has to be this, it has to take the Grammys and all that, I don't, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. The album is no pressure, so basically I don't put pressure on myself, mm -hmm. I just do music, mm -hmm. you know, so, but obviously it's because I'm, I'm grown and more experienced, mm -hmm. you know, my, my, my delivery and choice of beats and everything will change. Yes. So also my other question is, um, most of your songs you, you rap in your native language. Yes. Why did you decide to do that? Because uh, does that um, hinder you from you know, reaching the international market? Um, I think it's all, it's all relative. It's about numbers. You know, the people controlling the narrative will tell you that if you appeal to them, that, make, that makes you a superstar. But if I'm appealing to Africans and I have about 4.5 million followers and you're in the States and you have two, and you're telling me that you're bigger than me because uh, the news is from your perspective. It doesn't make sense. And mm. If everybody want to rap in English and just appeal to other people, mm. that's cool. I like it. Personally, I want to be Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. I want to be heard on a platform where Ghanaians can feel like this is our own. I, I don't I don't knock anybody who wants to rap in English. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good as well. That It pushes all of us. Mm -hmm. But personally, it's, it's something that I took on personally. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of being a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. And my native tongue is the best. I think creativity, you express yourself well with your mother tongue. I mm -hmm. believe that. Yeah. So, um, that's what I believe in, yes. So also you are... Uh, you... And to answer the limitations, yeah. and, um, even Eminem is not understood by all of us. You know, we, are, we, we grew up to understand slangs and get to catch what he's saying. But if you go to the, uh, you know, the rural areas in Africa, you ask them what is 50 Cent or Eminem or Kendrick talking about it, they, they don't really know. They mm. just love how it flows and that's what we're doing to them as well. Mm. Mr. Sakodi, we have seen you working with Kenyan artists like Caligraph Jones. Yes. Can you tell us how was your experience working with him? Honestly, I'm, I'm yet to meet him personally. 
because um, he sent the music over. But definitely one of the rappers that I take my hats off to in Africa. You guys have, you know, one of the greatest in Africa. So, are you ready to work with him another time or yeah, yeah, just yeah, one music. time? No, 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 no. It's music. Uh -huh. I work with a lot of artists back to back. If, if the, the vibe is there, the music is right. Mm -hmm. so when he sent the music to me, I didn't even have to like ask for options. Mm -hmm. I knew that was dope, so I had to do it. So if there's anything new, I'll definitely jump on it. Mm -hmm. So Sakodi, also you you were awarded uh, as the artist of the decade by Vodafone Ghanaian Awards. How does that make you feel? It was crazy because I didn't notice it's been like over ten years. Yeah. Um, in my career, I don't sit down to look at if I'm if I'm four years in. If I, I just keep going. Mm -hmm. So when my name popped up as one of the artists for Artists of the Decade, I was like, wow, actually it's been ten years, yeah. and apparently I've been relevant. I'm like, thank God. And they gave it to me because it was amongst a lot of great legends. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it feels good. Uh, okay. Okay, in Kenya we are we are playing a lot of Nigerian music. Mm. What about in Nigeria? Are they playing our music? Kenya, Ghana, 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 bro. Ghana. Yeah. Um, it, it depends on the artist you're talking about. Personally, I don't know. Uh, I know Kaliga. I know Vic, Vicky Victoria is from here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they came out. yeah exactly. Those are the people I know personally. Mm. And I think on certain radio stations, yes, Calligraph is being played, but Terry is being played as well. Apart from Calligraph Jones, can you work with any other artist here in Kenya? Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. Definitely. Can so, you give us an example? Like... Nah, you guys need to, be, you need to put me on the music. Because I know Calligraph, mm. that's, the, that's the person that I really want. Okay. Now that you've mentioned Victoria Kimani, there are rumors that maybe you're having closer ties with her, maybe JT. Are they true? What's no, your comment? Up? I'm married. <laughs> 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 but um, yes, that's, that's, that's a great sister. Mm -hmm. uh, we make beautiful music, and I think we've, we've had certain songs that I can understand mm -hmm. how people will see that mm -hmm. that way. But yeah, definitely it's far from that. So also, probably one of the final questions is, um, in, in your new album, uh, No Pressure, um, you've decided to be doing um, the listening parties all over Africa. What is the idea behind that? Because you know, you did, you did that, that other one in Lagos, now you're in Nairobi. What's the idea behind that? It's always a great feeling when we get closer to the people and catch a vibe with them. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it helps mentally, mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. so, so thank, thank you very, you very much. much. B. B. Open Hanging out with my main man Peter Nzeki and on this Peter Nzeki TV. How are you guys doing? You want celeb news, you want government news, you want breaking news. There's only one place to get it. Peter Nzeki News. Subscribe, subscribe. Let's take it to the next level. Peter Nzeki to the world. Quite media, tougher than. Quite media.